So, hey guys, Derek Jordan, uh, Children's Pastor with Lifeguard Kids. And I want to teach you guys how to do the invisible chair. I don't know what I called it. Anyway, it's the, the trick you guys probably saw that, there was a, the, that I did. Well, I did it with the kids and with, in Children's Church, and then I did it in Big Church. Because what happened was, the pastor asked me to preach, and I was like, i got to film my trick. So I did it in church. That's how to get things done, guys. I know I'm crazy. Anyway, but I taught a really good lesson. It's oh, what are we putting that up to? Anyway, the point is, I want to give you guys some tips on being able to do this without getting someone hurt, or um, just just some just some helpful tips to how to do this this invisible chair uh, trick. It's it's a physics trick. It's not really a magic trick. I think I think people do see it as a magic trick because. It, it, it's kind of amazing that you end up with no chairs at the end and everybody's still up, basically. But um, here's some tips. One of the first one is you don't really want to use kids. While you'll be tempted to, um, if your if your kids can't sit still or kids can't do you know do do it right or they're too short, there's like a lot of things that come into factor that it won't work right. Um, you could use kids if you use smaller chairs, and I'll explain that in a minute why that's important. And if your kids will, will, will uh, act right, they won't fidget around, they'll, they'll sit with one another and, and, and uh, work through it. If you have helpers, like teenage helpers, that's a perfect group to use to do this. Because they're going to be about the right height, the, about the right, uh, um, all the right stuff to, to make work. Now obviously what you need is four people, and the trick, the, 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 the important thing is you want people, to the best of your ability, you want people that probably weigh around the same weight and they're about the same height. That's going to make things easier on you. Now the more they're off in those areas, the, the, uh, it, it just makes it a, a little bit harder. Now if you'll notice, when, when I did it with the, with the group that we had, there was, there was someone who was slightly large and there were some people that were slightly small. So I had a, very, a fairly diverse group and it still worked. Now I was a little I think you know if you have a more balanced group, it's going to work longer. They can they can hold it for much longer. But um. Anyway, so now what you need for the trick, of course, is four chairs, four volunteers, and you want to make sure they're close in uh, weight and height. And you want a stick. And I I do not, I do not recommend a wooden stick. Unless you know it's sturdy, um, I would, and I actually had that. I told someone that I was like, "Don't use," because somebody grabbed a metal, a, a wooden stick, because they wanted to see it again another day. And I was like, "No, let's not do that," because I, I fear, with all those people pulling on it, if it had broke, it could have stabbed somebody or something. It would, if it broke and it fell down and into the group, that could probably hurt somebody. And so I used a very sturdy. I think it had two or three pipes, you know, it's, it was one of those kaleidoscoping uh, poles. That's what the yellow pole you see is. So I, I grabbed the, the sturdiest pole that I could find. So if you can find something that you are very sure, a pipe, whatever, something that you know is not going to break, use that. Um, you can, you can use your own arm to, to pull everybody up. And I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. Yeah, but you can use your own arm. Um, you just put your arm out there, everybody grabs it, and you pull them up. It, it's really more on them than it is on you for them to get up because you kind of just have to hold yourself unless you're really strong, and I'm not. So it didn't quite work out well for me when I did it uh, the second time everybody wanted me to do it. Anyway, so everybody around the same height, around the same weight, and the four chairs, they need to be where when somebody sits in the chair, their bottom is in the chair fully, like if this was, I got a small chair here. So they sit in the chairs, they sit in the chairs sideways, their legs go off this way, let me turn it. Their legs go off this way, okay? And they're going to lay back into the person behind them. And what you want out of each person is for their, their bottom to come all the way back to here, and then their knees to come, their leg to come straight down, knee out, straight down, foot flat on the ground. If their foot is not flat on the ground, if it's up in the air, like lifted up in the air and not touching the ground, it's not going to work. 
because they have to be able to support their own weight when you pull the chair out. So if you get them flat here, flat down, flat foot, it'll work. And it's recommended to tell them, like when, if you'll watch the, the video where we do it, I actually tell them to push their foot. And what's interesting, it was misunderstood. If you watch the video, you'll see the, the young lady, I believe her name was Angela, when I said push, she pushes with the chair, lifts her feet up in the air. And so she misunderstood, but we ended up getting it straight later. But um, what you want them to tell them, push with your feet and lift off the chair. So if everybody does that, if everybody lifts off the chair, you can just walk around and pull all the chairs out. Because everybody's supporting you know, the, the whole object lesson of it. And uh, now you see, in the video that we made for, for, uh, for Big Church, I was talking about the support system in the church. How we should support one another. How we should, um, and you know, I talked about the uncomfortableness. And all that can work with the lesson that we had, because we were talking about Twix. And then, you know, there's twin sticks, two sticks inside the thing. And we talked about where two or three are gathered there. There's God. And so the idea behind the lesson was that we stick together, we can stand up. And so the end of it, of course, you put the stick, you put whatever, and they all lift up together. So the idea is you're teaching sticking together to stand for God. So all that kind of goes together. Um, I think that's, that's pretty much everything I can probably tell you about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy it, guys. See you later. About the different weight people, you remember how you you said, uh, like, it, I mean, ideally, but if there's no. Oh yeah, let me give you some tips if you like. Like if you're in a situation that I was in during this, what I did is I set up the people based on their weight. And the, and and uh, if you'll notice, um, it, actually, my cameraman is, is the big guy that was there. Um, I set him down first, and I had let him lay back on someone who I was quite sure could could handle his weight, and then had him lay on somebody who could basically handle that, and then put the smaller person on him, because it, it kind of went big, can, you know, sort of big, can handle it, <laughs> about medium sized to small. And so nobody was having to hold anybody's weight at the time that was too big, and then I actually, I got the biggest person's chair out first, which you would think would be a bad idea, but what it does is everybody that's taking that weight on is, our, is still in a chair. So they're not actually taking that weight on, they're still in a chair. It's not a big shock. Yeah, it's not, it's not a huge, oh my gosh, so the, you want the last one to be the lightest one. It'll make things a whole lot easier if the last one is the lightest one. So I'm glad my cameraman caught that for you guys. Um, you don't want to mess that up and have your big guy, you, know, you pull it up and everybody just says clump. Now, I, now, you know what? Another thing I thought of though, with the kids, we did it with the kids, and the kids loved doing it, even though they fell on the floor, and it didn't work like two times, and then we had to get the, because we went through a lot of it. We, we had two groups try, and they, they fell, and it didn't quite work. So then we had to have um, Dodo, my wife, and two of our helpers do it to make it work. Now, we didn't have anybody to help us up, though, because that was all our helpers. So, I mean, we, it just ended up in that position, but we were able to show them that it could be done. Um, so it was fun with the kids, but I was just worried they were going to get hurt. So you, know, you can do as you wish. You know, It's up to you. I'm not telling you that it's okay. I'm saying it's best not to have the kids do it because you don't want them to get hurt. But anyway, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Tim, cameraman, for that. And i uh, see you guys later for real this time. You know, if I know where I'm starting, <laughs> then I can cut it. And what's nice is when you do it, when you do a lot of stuff like this, I can add it to the end of the video, <laughs> and then everybody can laugh at me or, or you because we're crazy. So. <laughs> anyway. All right.